Hey guys, this is Goddess Nicole Tarot back to bring you another energetic read for the collective for my beautiful and handsome soul tribe members. How are you guys doing on today? I hope all is well. I hope you're in high spirits today, okay? And I hope your health and your wealth is okay on your beautiful spiritual journey here, okay? All right, with that being said, thank you for the continuous love and support of me and the channel. It is greatly appreciated. I love the support. I love the love that you show. And I just want to say thank y'all so much. You guys are appreciated. With that being said, if you have not subscribed to the channel and you're just stopping by for the messages, go ahead and become a part of the Soul Tribe. We would love to have you over here. Okay? And for those who are just stopping by watching the messages, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. Okay? With that being said, um... I can be loud on this channel. I also can cry on this channel. I also can use profanity from time to time. It all depends on what energies I uh, partake, uh, partake in and what I pick up on, what I embody, the channel messages, uh, downloads, the songs, all that plays a part over here. We're getting the messages out to you guys. So with that being said, thank you so much again, and I love you guys. Let's tap in. I was hearing a lot of commotion. Okay, so it's a lot of fights. Maybe some arguments here. Okay. A lot of bickering back and forth. Okay. We're going to see. We're going to start with our karma cards here. <clears throat> there is somebody arguing about you guys here. Okay. Somebody got a lot to say. Somebody's. Somebody cackles too much. Somebody talks too much, okay? Somebody somebody really does a lot of talking, okay? To stop somebody or to be catty, okay? To start arguments, to pick, pry at somebody. Somebody is just a picker, a bicker, okay? Somebody loves to bicker. Let's see. Somebody is emotionally... And mentally unstable here. Yeah, we got Aquarius energy here. Big Aquarius making this presence out here. Okay, something, something when it comes to uh, Aquarius energy. Maybe you could be an Aquarius here. Okay, my collective, or you have Aquarius in your chart. Somebody doesn't like your vision. Okay, S somebody gets angry when you speak. Okay. <clears throat> something is different, new and different about you. Maybe somebody doesn't like your change, okay? Maybe you're exposing and your vision is clear. Your path is clear. Maybe you, you speak the truth here. Aquarius speaks the truth. Aquarius is an air sign. They're very intelligent, very tolerable, okay? Uh, this person goes through a lot here, okay? This is what it's giving me. Somebody stands the test of time. Okay, somebody discovered that you know more than what you put on here. Okay, and it makes somebody upset. Aquarius energy. Somebody may have tried to experiment with you. Okay, somebody is now discovering that you're impen impenetrable. Okay, they can't penetrate your energy. Okay, yeah, some Aquarius are very guarded. Okay, they have their boundaries set high. Okay, because they've been through a lot. For some of us, we have. I'm an Aquarius myself. Okay, you're very smart. It says genius to experiment with. Mm, it says resulting from ancestry of discoveries of. Okay, your vision. What's new and different about you? Use an unconventional way in. Somebody don't like the way you think. Okay. Somebody don't like the way you speak. They don't like the way you think. Okay, we're going to see. Let's see. House. Oh, wow. Your spiritual beliefs. Your your values. The ninth house. Okay. It says long-ranging thinking. And what did I say? Somebody don't like the way you think. They don't want, like the way you speak. Okay. What is to be shared? They don't like the way you communicate. Like what you share. Somebody got his... Somebody got... Somebody is bickering about what you do, okay? Your spiritual values, what you believe in. It says, as if they came from all there is. You came from all there is. Some of you guys come from directly descent from 
most high himself okay you're connected to source some of you guys communicate. Some of you guys have a spiritual business. Somebody don't like what you speak. Okay? All right? <clears throat> it says the philosophies and laws involved. Okay? Do it in a big way. Ninth house is just giving me the house of uh, good karma. So you are getting good karma for what you do, your spiritual beliefs, your values. Spirit is blessing you. Okay? You're within the laws of uh, attraction. You're within the laws of doing right. And somebody don't like that, your truth, okay? Somebody don't like that you speak the truth and you tell the truth and you stand by it, okay? This is what it's giving me. With the Nile House, somebody could also be receiving karma, okay? Ooh, let's see. When they don't like our spiritual values. Oh, well, okay? Oh, well. It says the 11th house here, which talks about your future, okay? Do it for your future, humanity's sake. So what you do helps humanity, okay? What you put out here, may that be spiritual, okay? You're waking the collective up. You're doing something for the humanity, and God is blessing you here with that. Your hopes and wishes. Do it for the future, and, it, and, and it's securing your future here, I believe, okay? Freedom, associations, your circle of friends. So there could be a circle of friends that don't like the way you speak, okay? You may not associate with these people anymore, okay? All right? <clears throat> you may be free from these people. It says freedom at the top of the card here, okay? All right? <clears throat> You've cleared your circle. You may not even have friends, okay? Because the Queen of Swords is very intelligent. It's just giving me that from the Aquarius card here, okay? You could be the star energy too as well. Very healing, very motivating, okay? You have faith, okay? And who you're connected to, and you're getting these messages out here to people, you're doing it in a big way, and God is satisfied with that. It doesn't matter if these circle of friends or whoever that you're communicating to, whether that be on a public platform, okay, expressing yourself, you're getting the messages out there, and they're true, precise, and clear, okay? Some of you, this is your job, to be a public speaker, self-motivator here, and you motivate others to get on their spiritual journey, their spiritual pathway, Okay, somebody's bicking about what the, what, you, what you speak. Somebody got a lot of commotion going on. Okay, these could be low vibrational friends, family members, or whoever, co-workers, whatever. Somebody don't like it, okay? Yeah, Mars, see? They're very combative, very angry, very upset. They want to take action some type of way. It says the drive. You could have drive. You could uh, have the motivation to speak all the time, Okay? Your vision is clear, like I said, okay? It says the confronting of. Somebody may want to take action to confront you, okay? We had this card to come out before. This could be a masculine energy because Mars represents masculine energy. Somebody wants to confront you, okay? Somebody has the energy here. Somebody wants to force something or force some, them way, themselves onto you, okay? With Mars energy here, Aries energy, Okay, fire sign energy. That's what it's giving me here. Okay, somebody wants to take action and they're upset. Okay, with Uranus here, you could be, uh, <clears throat> you could be looking at things different. Something could be unexpectedly happening to these people or this person. There could be masculine energies in your inside of your energy fields that don't feel. What you're speaking, they don't like it. Maybe you're exposing something here, okay? The queen of swords in the upright, she speaks nothing but the truth. She's very smart, very intelligent. She's clear on what she's speaking, okay? She don't have to lie here, okay? It says stared up by a situation. Somebody is stared up. Somebody is upset. Somebody's amped up. Somebody wants to fight or confront somebody. Be open to new ideals, invent a way. So you're very idealistic, okay? You speak facts here. And somebody don't like that. And something done changed in these people's lives here. Maybe there's a tower, okay? 
with unexpected change. Okay. Somebody could have heavy Aries placements or fire placements here. Somebody could be a Scorpio. Okay. Mm. Something finna change for somebody. Give me one more here, spirit. <laughs> Child. It sounds to me like, yeah, somebody don't like that you have good fortune too as well. Jupiter energy. Granny, and you have blessings from the most high. Come through, spirit. You're growing and you're expanding and you helping people in a positive way to grow and disconnect from people that are angry, upset all the time. They're very toxic. It's something that you're doing that these toxic people do not like. And oh, well, oh, well, stop listening. Okay, close your ears. <laughs> Learn and teach. So you're teaching and learning others here. Aquarius energy, very genius, okay? Very positive about what you experience, what, you, what helped you grow and expand. You could be telling your story. Like I said, you could be a motivation speaker. You could do what I do, divination, okay? You could be speaking up what you went through, trials and tribulations. People don't like what you went through because it, it, it shines a light on the person the accuser, okay? It shines the light on the toxic person that treated you like crap, and they don't like that. Oh, well, stand up in your truth. You know what you did, okay? Accept that and move on with your life, okay? Because with or without your input or whatever you're trying to confront here or, or take action towards, this Aquarius is speaking the truth. She's going to stand in her truth. Okay? <clears throat> and she's going to teach here. That could be her purpose. And nothing or nobody can change that. Somebody needs to move away from it. Somebody needs to go ahead and accept the fact that, yeah, I did this. Yeah. Could be a Leo under the bottom of the deck here. Capricorn after that. Virgo. Yeah, something is being revealed, moon energy here. And somebody don't like that. They want to confront you, okay? Something to do with somebody's health or their job, okay? Or a relationship here that you was once in with the seventh house on the bottom of the deck. You're expressing yourself here, your desires here with the first house, okay? Somebody don't like your actions. They want to confront you. A lot of commotion going on. A lot of unexpected change coming to these people or, or, or this person. And they feel some type of way. Very combative, very argumentative, very angry, upset that you're exposing, that you're teaching from your experiences, what you went through. Okay? Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's see here. Let's go on here. <clears throat> What else, spirit here? What else? What a collective. <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you're very, very telepathic, okay? Like I said, you're connected to the universe. Some of you guys are connected to another galaxy. You could have alien DNA in your blood here. Songs, dreams, all of that plays a part. I said that in the beginning here. Through my downloads, my dreams, okay? My channel messages, they all play a part. All play a part. For some of you, Aquarius, you're just like me. Tap in. You can receive messages from telepathically. You can receive messages from dream songs everywhere. Somebody just projecting their angry ass energy onto you. Okay? That they're upset. That, they're, they, that they are true, the culprit. Okay? For your growth. Somebody is a catalyst. Callous, uh, callous for your growth, okay? And somebody don't like that you calling them out. Oh, well. They shouldn't be negative, evil, vindictive-ass people, okay? Yeah, they're in their feelings. Come through spirit. They're in their emotions. They're coming and going. They so afraid that you're going to expose further information about them, how nasty they were to you, okay? <laughs> 
these friends, these circles of friends, they so mad. They tune in, though. They watching. Stop watching. Stay out of somebody's energy. That's all I got to say. Yeah. <laughs> they got invo others involved. So these people got other people in to intervene in the situation here. And now they all need rescuing. <laughs> yeah. They was like a bounty hunter on your ass. Hot pursuit here. Okay, some of them even be could be a bounty hunter, an actual bounty hunter could be after these people's ass. They could be running from the law. Okay, are they running from God or trying to run from their their mistakes? Run from their karma. Unexpected change here. Running from towers. Take it out of resonance. Yeah, they're watching you on social media. I cannot make it up. Yeah, they so scared, so scared and worried that you're gonna further, uh, <clears throat> gonna further identify what else they did to you. Okay, what else toxic trait that these people had? Okay, they so worried about if you're gonna expose their ass. <laughs> they're watching. Okay, yeah, like I said, they're project pro projecting that negative energy onto you. Okay, and it's falling away from you. You could be a high vibrational Aquarius. We don't feel that shit. <laughs> Period. Okay? Yeah, this could even be your own family that you have blood ties to. Like I said, everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. I don't give a fuck if they is family. They fake, they fraud too. Just because we in the same bloodline don't mean that you gifted like I am. You're not on the same vibration that I am. I'm on a whole nother level. You can never be. Okay? Yeah. You ain't my speed. <laughs> Not my speed at all. This could be family. You got blood ties to or an inner circle that you used to hang around or used to associate frequent a lot. A group of friends. You don't fuck with them no more either. You don't cut everybody off. The whole circle. Circle of life. That's what I get. Okay, and these people worry. What did I say? Scared. They're in a panic. They so worried about. <laughs> yeah, drama queen, thirsty. These motherfuckers can come with drama, a lot of commotion, a lot of a lot of fights, arguments, bickering. There could also be a drama queen in your circle that's causing chaos because she's being exposed. Oh well. Oh, well, stay out of my motherfucking energy. Stop watching me. Stop watching me. Period. Because I ain't holding back shit. Nothing. None of you put no fear in my heart, family or not. <laughs> yeah, you're getting the signs of secreties, synchronicities, or these people are. Because you definitely tapped in to source. You got alien DNA. Some of you guys are star babies, crystal children. You're from a whole nother galaxy here. Like, the, like I said, these people are far from the level that you own. You're totally advanced from these people. They don't even know it. That's why I say people in your family don't have the same. You could be in a family. You can be. These people can be a part of your family, but God don't see them the same. Okay. God don't see them the same like he see you. He ain't going to bless the whole family because the whole family ain't putting no work. That's just period. You could be seeing 1111-222-888-8888. I meant to say 333. That is your sign of synchronicity. Somebody is a ascendant master here. Okay? And somebody got a false fake ass twin watching them. That's sad and heartbroken. That could have had a team of bitches to come up against you. You know, I ain't going to sugarcoat shit over here. Because I already know the business. I already see through it. I'm all knowing. And these motherfuckers are watching you. Stalking. Okay? Eyes for you. Yeah. And they're triggered. I told you they want to confront you. They're embarrassed. That they even associate it or try to cause chaos in somebody's life. Drama starters. 
because God is whooping their ass with this unexpected change. They're going through some type of karma with the ninth house here. Yeah. <clears throat> they ain't got good fortune either. Things are not happening in their life. Positivity. They're not, it's negative. Negative. Give me one more here, Spirit, before I change out the deck. One more. Yeah. Yeah, this could, could be people you had love for. Unconditional love for. Yeah. Now they're triggered by your name, what kind of car you drive, where you live. They triggered by all of that because they know deep down inside they fucked over you. They did you wrong. They did you dirty. And they can't stand and talk about you. They did your children dirty. With children under the bottom of the deck. Did them foul as fuck. I wish one of you motherfuckers that watching me open up your mouth. On my on my daddy. <laughs> Let's go further. What else here? Let's see. Yeah. They're getting bad news. They want you to have bad news. But it's in the reverse. You're not getting any bad news. At all. None. You living proud. Okay? You're not living in no toxic environment. 2121 21 on the clock, as I said that. And these people were untrue. They were untrustworthy. Dishonest. They were liars. And your energy. Family. Relationships, friends, whoever it was here. Yeah. They all were liars. Fake frauds. What else here, Spirit? I will withhold information from you for my benefits. This is what a lot of them did. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. That apology, you don't want it. Apology in the reverse. It's not sincere. It's not sincere at, at all. You don't need their apology. You done forgiven them and moved on with your life. These people are still stuck on the past because they haven't healed from it. Because they know they did some shady shit. That's why they stuck on it. God going to continue to let it eat their ass alive until they do what's right. What else? Family or not? What else? Yeah. Yeah, this tribe is broken up. A lot of them are breaking free from whoever these, these uh, shit starters is. Okay, like I said, this could be your family you broke away from, a friend group, everything is falling apart from these. They're going through some unexpected change. Yeah, somebody wants you to do a big favor for them, but you know you're not. You're not. I know I'm not at all. Better talk to God. <laughs> That's all I got to tell you. What else? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, they was all in sync. Chorus in the reverse. They ain't speaking to each other no more. Everybody is falling away from the tribe, the game. Because they really see your vision now. They see you was telling the truth about certain individuals. Whether this may be your family, your friends, exes, and their family. It doesn't matter. They see that a person was being dishonest. They were lying about you the whole time. All that shit done came out. Yeah, because somebody was wanting control. They wanted, they wanted to be in control of things. They were greedy. Okay? With greed in the reverse now, somebody's not. Okay? It says, I'm pursuing wealth and power with no regard for ethical or moral boundaries. Somebody didn't respect you. They respect you now. Yeah, they respect your boundaries now. Because God done made their ass sit down. And that's what the fuck they get. Okay? Yeah. You ain't reconnecting with these people. Period. They done showed you once. Don't let them show you twice. What else? Mm-hmm. People that stuck on the past. Come through spirit. With past in the reverse. You're not revisiting it at all. You're not going back to the past collective. These people know that. They know they were shady. They were foul. They had some fucked up ways about them. And they told a lot of lies. There was a lot of gaslighting, manipulation going on. 
a lot of spreading the lies, slander, trying to defame you. Talks about your character when you was good to these people. Ain't no going back to revisit none of that. You said what you said, stand on that. And pay the pipe. Pay the piper here, baby. Okay? Get these unexpected changes in your life called karma. It's just simple as that. <laughs> Ain't no going back from there. Ain't no coming back from there. You did what you did. Ain't no use of you apologizing. Ain't no use of that. Whatever you did to me and my children has been forgiven. And I've moved on. Like you need to do. What else? That's what some of you guys are saying. Yeah, you're not you finna talk to them. You're not finna vent to them. You ain't got shit to say to them. Period. Come through spirit. I know I'm speaking to a lot of people that feel the same way I do. The past is the past and it's going to stay there. <laughs> and you said goodbye to it a while ago. Come through spirit. Man, please. Let's get some terror real quick. <laughs> You don't forgive them, and that was that. You ain't receiving no bad news. You're not heartbroken. You're not busted, broke, and disgusted over these people. You don't give a fuck. 20, 20, 26, 26 on the clock, as I said, you don't care. <laughs> Let's see. Because they were terrible to you, and they didn't hold back. They wanted control. They wanted to secure that spot. Whether that's projecting nasty energy towards your way, spell work, being greedy, controlling, foul, it doesn't matter with the four of pentacles. They could be suffering for financially need. Somebody needs a big favor from you. Yeah. Because they see you being fulfilled. You're in the nine of cups, ace of wands here. And it's nothing they can do about it. You're starting fresh, new beginnings. Your money good. Your financial health is good. Your financial strength is good. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You're not receiving no bad news. Somebody lied to these people. Like you was missing them or something. <laughs> the fuck? No. <laughs> Nobody. Child, please. I'm going to laugh at that. Because that's funny. Okay? <laughs> what? Yeah, these people are losing everything. Jobs, everything. That's probably why they need a big favor. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. If somebody could be working themselves to death with the little job that they do have, could be holding on to the little pennies that they have, and they definitely holding on to the shit from the past that they did to you, because it's haunting them. It's causing a commotion in their life, because they know they was wrong. When somebody walks around with that shit all on their heart, it's going to affect them in their everyday life. Okay? They need to give it to God. That's what somebody needs to do. Yeah. Nine of Cups, you, you, you're fulfilled. Yeah? Ace of Wands to the Nine of Cups, you're fulfilled. You, you're successful here. And these people are stressed. Four of Swords. They really stress. Because they ran by entities. Look in that mirror. These people are ran by entities. Ran by the devil. They can't get no rest. The wicked cannot rest. For eight of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody done lost their job. Or they're burnt out at a job. This could be somebody that cheats a lot. Okay. That cheat at their job. Could be cheating in their relationship. So they can have, they be going they could be going through some type of stable stable stability issues when it pertains to a job. Somebody could be sick in the hospital here with the four stars. So these people are going through karma. Like I said, the night house talks about karma, dharma, and karma. All right, they going through some unexpected change here. And these people want to open up about it. <laughs> they want to express to you, make you feel sorry for them. Nobody didn't feel sorry for you. 
Nobody didn't hold back this same energy for you. Why should you be feeling sorry for somebody like that? Yeah, successful, beautiful, business oriented here with the queen of uh, wands, beautiful, talented, okay? You could be in that queen of wands energy or this could be a queen of wands that's salty about something here. Let's see. <laughs> We got a two of pentacles. That's sta I told you, stability issues, St instability here. Yeah, these people don't have new beginnings. They don't have new opportunities. God is not blessing these people for the foul shit they done did to people over the years. And it's troublesome to some of these people. It affects them. They need to take that up with God, not you. They don't need to be watching you. Yeah, four of cups, they sitting with them. Five of pentacles, like I said, they sit. While you over here in the ace of pentacles. God is blessing you. You get a fresh business ideas, a new projects, new job that's making you money. New businesses, whatever you doing here, my love. You getting blessed here with good fortune here. And these people want to take action on you. Child, all right, you better know what you're doing. That's all I got to say. Page of Pentacles, they watch you, they study you. They could also be getting readings put on you. Shoot, they're trying to figure out what you got. Yeah, Page of Cups trying to do some shit to your children. Yeah, they sent out a lot of death magic here to end things for you. Now these people are going through the unexpected. Somebody could be passing away here, actually. Yeah, because you're happy. You're happy. And you're not bothering anyone. Come through, spirit. These people are stuck. Pain, man. And these people try to sacrifice everything for you. And they couldn't do it. So that's what's eating them up inside. They got a new perspective. Like, we can't do this to her. Yeah. The wheel in the reverse. They stuck. They stagnant. They don't have good fortune. Ace of Cups. They, you don't show these people no love. Their, 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 their intuition is blocked. They overdo a lot of things here. With the pages out here, for some of you, they try to stop your fresh starts, your new beginnings. They try to do all of that. Affect your money, your stability, all of that. Send you out death magic with the death here. All of that stuff is reverting back towards them. Okay? And this is what has started a commotion, a fight. These people are bickering and fighting amongst themselves. Okay? And they're angry at themselves. Because they let it get out of hand. And they didn't slow you down. They tried. But you persevere. Nine of Pentacles here. Very hard working. Very driven. It didn't matter how hard you get there. You still got there. It didn't matter how long it took you to get there. That's what I mean. When they all try to put challenges in your way. Obstacles in your way. Stumbling blocks in your way. You're still happy. And these people want to be a part of your blessings, your good fortune. Spirit said, nah, uh They don't get no big favor from you. They better call on who they were calling on. They better call Tyrone. That's what I heard. Call Tyrone. Call him. Period. These are the people that didn't show you no love. That wanted things to shift in your life. Not for the good. Not a mad, angry, upset, they want to confront you. Now nah, you better confront God. That's who got your ass in the rut that you in now for what you done did behind the scenes. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody could be going through an unexpected pregnancy right now and somebody don't want the child. Okay? Somebody is sick, broke, going from house to house. Five of Pentacles energy. They ain't got no money. 
robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, they need your favor. They need your help now, but they did all this shit to you. I doubt it. I look at these motherfuckers and smile in their face. I promise you that. I promise you, if any one of your motherfuckers asks me for anything, you're gonna get you're gonna get embarrassed. On my life, you are. On my soul. <laughs> And these are people from my past that did me foul. I wouldn't help you, but ask God for help. I'm not your savior. Okay? Yeah. They want your forgiveness, but some of you guys are not in the business of forgiving right now. And that's okay. But don't hold that shit too long. Don't let it cripple you. Forgive these people and move on. Because that's exactly what I did. Okay? Yeah. They don't like your spiritual messages. They don't like that you tapped in, tapped in here. Or, or that you good, give a good advice. Okay? How to disconnect from toxic ass family members or relationships. All the above. What else? Yeah. Like I said, removing yourself from toxic ass karmic ass relationships. Come through spirit. I'm speaking up about the facts. Somebody don't like that. You teach that. And that people follow you. They learn from you. Because you've experienced it. You can speak about it. Yeah. These secrets that these people hold on to. What else? Oh, child. Come through spirit. Yeah, they hate you. They don't like that you do this. Mm, mm, mm. You have an impact on a lot of people. They want you to submit to them, but you only submit to one man. One God. You don't submit to anybody else. And they don't that. These people want to control who you were submitting to like they God. Child, please, if y'all don't get y'all sour, get y'all bitch ass on somewhere, please. Yeah. Yeah. Put some respect on my name. These people didn't respect you. They, they, they do now. Now that their secrets are being exposed. Yeah. That's right. You're happy now with happiness here. Yeah. And these people are in the burden of tears. You just giving message of guidance. Okay. That's what you doing, my love. You are. And these people cannot stand that. See what else here for the overall energy when I close out here, spirit? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they learning from you. They want to learn. <laughs> they learning from you. Even though they're not going to tell you that. And they want to reunite you with you. But you ain't having that shit. We're reunion here. You already know they false. They fake. They are dramafied. And you're not into the business. Of being into a dramafied relationship, friendship, family members. None of that shit. You're not into none of it. And you're being a beacon of hope, beacon of life for people. Okay? This has been Goddess Nicole Terrell. Peace, love, and light to your collective. Until next time. Mwah. Bye. Y'all stay safe. And I love you guys. Y'all take care. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth, boo. I love you guys.